Hello again, Average Joes, and welcome to another video. You are probably aware that the more popular strategy is the funnel strategy with a single core. This means that both side lanes will have fighters, and the core will usually be an assassin, and there are no marksmen. You are probably asking why is that strategy so popular and why is it being used especially in the pro scene when a marksman that has his or her core items is still dangerous late game. That is what I will discuss in this video. I signaled Hanso to take the enemy's red buff first because I saw their marksman at the bottom lane. Hanzo should have taken the other camps as well before joining the team fight. Oh well, we got a kill so it's all good. See here, Kufra is tied down in protecting Bruno because a marksman is very weak in the early game and will often be a victim of ganks when left alone. In contrast to me, I was able to roam to aid Khalid because Hanzo can solo farm in our jungle and our Cyclops is already level 3. I provided vision for Hanzo and he is able to safely steal the enemy's blue buff. I was able to roam from mid to top, then back to mid again, and now gank bottom to help Leomord get a double kill and a kill on the enemy's carry as well, because I'm not tied down in protecting our carry. I was going to help top but I saw Hanzo moving mid so I waited and once he moved towards Argus, I made my move as well. Hanzo is still alive at level 6, Leo Mord is level 5, while Bruno is just level 5 with less than 2000 gold. He should not be playing that aggressive. Bruno and Xborg are trapped under the turret while I'm zoning out Kufra and Lunox. An assassin core becomes effective faster than a marksman core, 
our Hanso can now win one versus one against anyone from the enemy. Also, since we do not have to guard our core, the rest of us can aggressively gunk other lanes. Our core died but not before getting a kill on the enemy score as well. Also, notice all lanes are being pressured because we can roam a lot because all of us cannot easily be killed one versus one. Look here, I'm zoning our enemy at top with Cyclops. Hanzo and Khalid is pressuring mid, while Leomord is also taking the turtle. We are able to take multiple objectives because everyone is now online at just 6 minutes into the game. This is something that is hard to achieve with a standard rotation because a marksman is not safe being on his or her own so you need a tank to guard him or her until he or she is online, which takes a while for a marksman to achieve, especially with the changes with the jungle items. I was not expecting Cyclops to move forward before the rest of our team comes. Without a crowd control skill, Lunox and Argus has no way to kill Khalid. Bruno was caught in no man's land again, but it's not his fault entirely. They cannot engage on us because our lead is already huge, but Bruno needs farm so their team is in a huge dilemma.
we got a bit carried away there, but we still got two lanes. Neomord got carried away also. If there is something you don't do when you don't have a marksman, is to give the enemy the chance to come back because the late game still belongs to the marksman. We are just darting in and out, attracting the enemy's attention while hitting the throne and letting our minions damage the throne as well. Well, there you have it guys. I hope you learned something. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks!